All right, so today we have a pretty cool one here. This is a pair that I've been wanting for a while. I really tried to hit on these retail because these are gonna be a personal pickup. I don't usually do a bunch of personal pickups. Usually I'm just reviewing them for content, but there's a few pairs that I really want to get. This is one of them that I'm super excited to unbox. This box is crazy. I think we should just get right into it. So first of all, these are social status Mac attacks. And this box has some incredible detail. You can see up top, there's that Nike swoosh inside of the social status logo. You get this green, you even get this like textured rubber on top. Looking on the side, you get a little door. It's supposed to be like a storefront, I think, because you can see this is the roof. And then you get social status and Nike logos hanging. You get some telephones over here. And then the size tag, size 11, I hit on my size. It's a wonderful day. So getting into it here, serving fresh goods every day. There we go, boom. Now I have not looked at these yet, so this is a genuine first reaction. It looks like we get a bib of some sort. Okay, a little social status Nike bib. It appears this is not a bib, it's actually a bag that you can see, you can put stuff in there, so that's kind of cool. Put that off to the side. Now the whole premise behind these is food stamps. On the 1st and the 15th, typically food stamps are given out. You go to, I'm assuming, this store on the box and that's where you get them. So the little bag says, thank you for supporting your neighborhood. The paper is incredibly detailed. It looks like a newspaper. So available in store and online, social status, celebrating the return of the Nike attack in partnership with social status. We also get all those stores listed. Item good, 365 days a year, shop now. Other than that, let's just get into it. Boom, all right, these, okay, so these are way better than I thought they were. Oh my gosh, these are insane. So I'm gonna get them both out here. We're gonna put the box to the side. So I knew that these were good. I didn't know that they were this good. I mean, come on. So it looks like we get some extra laces inside. Laces, it looks like a pack of bubble gum. That's kind of cool. So it's got social status laces. The color we get on this pair, the nutrition facts, it says 55 inches. Usually Jordan 1 highs are typically 72 inches. This is like a mid cotton flat laces, surprise color. All right, so we got sale laces here on this one. Kind of cool, not too bad. Uh, these are really nice laces, might I add. The cotton is like plush, it feels good. Good cotton laces here that I, I honestly, I might put those in there. So, and then we also get another set here. I can already see this one is, these I really like too. This is like a pink that you can see on the tongue tag. We'll get into a little bit more of the hidden details here in a second. But we also have some pink laces. Put these off to the side. Now looking at this shoe, again, these are way better than I thought they were. So looking online, I was like, man, these are super cool. I wanna get a pair of these. But getting them in hand, they're just as good as I thought they were. And let's just go from the back to the front, talk about some cool details on them, and then let's get them on foot. All right, so starting on the back, you can see that we have that salmon colored Nike logo. It is the OG Nike, so it looks like it's from the 80s when the Mac Attack, the original shape and silhouette was released for John McEnroe. We also have that cracked leather on the side. It It, it is leather, I think. Yeah, it's like a cracked, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's very similar to the upper on the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. I'm assuming it's basically the same material. The gray part up here and on the swoosh and on this lower part is actually satin. And the cool part about that is you can actually cut it away and you'll get that salmon color underneath, which uh, just a cool little added detail. I love when they add little hints like that. We also get a really good looking mesh that's very plush. It's soft, it feels good, it's a good color. I think I just wanna talk about how good the upper looks. Like everything on this shoe is very cohesive. Even that sail tone midsole where it looks like they just took some Foxtrot midsole paint and put it on there where it looks like it's not really faded. It's not like that fake sail aged old OG look, but they just kind of painted it on there. It almost looks like it's not supposed to be there, but I think it adds a cool little touch. Like this pair looks like what a Nike should. The stitching, there's no stitching out of place. Everything looks like it's supposed to be for 160 bucks, I think these retail for. And then looking, you also get the gray laces on these. That toe box shape reminds me a ton of New Balance 550s. Just a good looking toe box. It looks like a tennis shoe because that's what it originally was. So unlacing it here, let's get into that tongue tag so I can really show you what that's all about here. This one has like that OG Nike on this one. And then this other one actually has the social status logo. It's kind of good little, uh, difference there. 
We've got that social status look. Getting the shoe tree out here, just a paper shoe tree. It does look like we have some custom insoles, which is kind of a cool little addition. So this is the shop list of, I'm assuming these are social status locations, Detroit, Houston, Rawling, Atlanta, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Tampa Bay, Greensboro, and Charlotte. Open one up in Minnesota. I'm waiting for it. Uh, and then the other insole is the exact same. Cool little detail that I'm just finding out right now. On the tongue, you actually get a little hidden stash pocket, which is pretty cool. So if you wanna stash anything in there, you definitely can. It looks like you get that on both of them, so that's kinda of cool. And then talking about the outsole again, it's a very classic looking tennis shoe design. I really like it. It looks very grippy. The stars kind of bleed into the outsole, which is pretty cool. There's stars throughout the entire outside, which is very different from a Jordan 1 or an Air Force 1. You get that classic Nike on the bottom. All in all, I'm in heaven. These are insane. I think we just need to get these on foot and tell you how they fit. Now that we're out in the living room, I'm gonna lace these up and put them on for the first time. These fit like a glove. These are not gonna be just a slip-on shoe since they are kind of like a mid-top. They didn't look like it online, but they definitely come up to your ankle quite a bit. So you wanna get some, some good socks for that. I have my Stance mid-cut socks on right now. Favorite socks in the world. Shout out Stance. Oh man, these feel so good. I mean, come on. How good do these look on foot? I mean, these look incredible. Now the real question is, do I cut the swoop? Honestly, I don't think I will. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I will just because they look so good as is. And I'm gonna be wearing these so much. They look so good. There's just plenty of space. They fit very similar to a 550, but it's like a mid again. And my favorite thing is probably just that top down profile and how good they look when you just look down at them. Are these worth 180 bucks? I think so. Definitely go check them out if you haven't already. And there is some other Mac Attack colorways coming out soon too. So definitely go check those out. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next review.